Hey, welcome back to Check Your Leader TV. And today we're going to continue with part three of the Closing the Pocket uh, O Group scenario. Uh, it's a solo playthrough uh, using O Group rules. Um, if you look in the description below, you'll see links to parts one and two. Part one, we discuss the scenario objectives, forces involved, uh, everything pertaining to the, the game setup. Uh, that takes us up to turn four. Part two takes us from turn four up to where we are now, which is the commencement of turn nine. Um, so I'm not gonna labor on uh, all the scenario details. Go to uh, part one and you'll see it all there. What I will do is we'll do a bit of a recap where we are at the moment. Um, essentially, uh, like I said, beginning of turn nine, the Germans have the initiative and they have uh, eight company orders plus their bonus order because they secure the initiative for this turn. The Russians for their part, they have six company orders at their disposal. The Russians are currently carrying one FUBAR um, and the Germans have lost two units. So they're two points off their first FUBAR. So without further ado, let's have a, bit, a quick recap and then let's get straight back into it. Okay, so the situation at the commencement of turn nine, uh, the Germans have deployed all their armored units Panzer four Fs and these Panzer threes. Um, uh, these have got the fifty millimeter guns and the short seventy fives. Um, all of First Company is now deployed down on the deck. They've got one platoon on this high uh, wooded ridge line here. Um, you can't really see terribly well, but that is high ground there. Believe it or not, um, uh, they've got a combat patrol out the front, and they've got a platoon there carrying one point of shock. Um, this platoon over here is reduced uh, in strength. They've lost one of their squads uh, and they're suppressed. They're drawing a lot of fire from uh, this built up area over here. Um, and the other, the final platoon, no shock at all. Uh, they've uh, rallied up and they've moved to this position here, just short of the wheat field. There's the objective, that high ground, and they, they need to have, just a reminder, uh, two platoons worth of troops uh, on that feature, uh, carrying no more than two points of shock. Um, so they, that's that's where they're, they're, that's what they've got to do. Other than that, the other option of this course is just basically reduce the Russians to three FUBARs and, and then that's game. Uh, second company for the Germans, all the platoons are out. They've got one platoon here, one platoon here, and one platoon there. None of them are carrying shock, they're all quite fresh. They've got a PAC 50mm anti-tank gun deployed on the high ground here because, again, there's another ridge. So a low rise there. And they have a combat patrol out on their left flank. Company commander is to the rear. Um, they've lost their recon element, uh, but uh, uh, that was destroyed by a BA-10 armoured car, which has been uh, in turn destroyed by uh, the German Panzer III's. And the Russian armour, which consists of uh, two uh, T-26 tanks, uh, they deployed um, on the German left flank, the Russian right, uh, intended to um, just basically put pressure on the German left flank and, and sort of like ease pressure on the Russian left flank. Uh, but they've uh, they've met a grisly end and they're knocked out. Uh, let's have a look at the position, the situation from the Russian perspective now. Okay, so from the Russian perspective, they've got a... Uh, First company is, uh, they've lost one platoon, uh, uh, well, virtually a, a, a platoon. There was a platoon deployed in here that's been reduced to a single section, that is here. Their second platoon has lost one section, but that has to, ha, does have an anti-tank section attached to them, so with anti-tank rifles. And their third platoon is at full strength. They are carrying one shock, uh, and they're deployed in the woods here. Uh, their forward line of defense was this high ground here, but uh, the Germans have forced them back. They do have a minefield, obviously, in the center of this, this area here, between the, the wheat field and the wooded area here. Uh, and so that's that's uh, first company. Second company, they have a platoon in this built-up area here. They're carrying one point of shock. And then they have two other platoons, one in this wooded uh, built-up area and in also in this rough ground over here and the remains of their T-26 platoon is destroyed there, just burning away uh, with their tankies scurrying to the rear. Company commander situated central to the th three platoons, which is a pretty good place for him to be. Uh, first company's company commander is uh, situated 
to the left rear of uh, their most forward platoon. Um, the Russians have two divisional fire missions up their sleeve, and obviously they've got the battalion mortars. The Germans have used up one of their divisional slash regimental fire missions in neutralizing this initial thrust by the, the uh, Russian armor. So they're down uh, to uh, one divisional fire mission plus a divisional or regimental smoke mission. So that's where we're at. It's the commencement of turn nine. Ding, ding, let's get it on. Okay, so the Germans are going to start with their first order. They're going to order these Panzer fours to fire into the built-up area. Now, cover cover normally reduces any fire firepower by two dice, but against high explosive, they only drop one dice. So each Panzer four generates five HE dice. So that's a grand total of ten. I'll drop one for the the for the uh, the built-up area for the cover. So that gives them nine dice. And you have to roll the spotting dice when shooting into cover. So, nine dice for the spotter. Hitting on fours, they've got one, two, three. That's pretty abysmal shooting. Three, three with, and they roll the two on the spotter so they're not spotted. So the Russians are saving on three plus. And they've saved them all. Okay. So now, the next is going to be these pans of threes. They're going to fire. Uh, they generate four dice per Panzer three, so that's a grand total of eight. They're carrying a shock. That takes them down to uh, seven and the cover down to six. So six dice, again, with a spotting dice. Hitting on fours, again, only two hits and again, not spotted. Jeez. Uh, saving on threes. They failed to save one. So these guys go up to two shock now. And now the other Panzer threes will fire because we, we really want to we want to get these guys at least suppressed before the Germans launch their assault. So um, four dice each takes them to eight, but they lose two for the uh, sorry one for the cover. So that's, that that will leave them with seven dice with a spotter. Seven spotting. Oh man, one dice and again not spotted. So the Russians are really skating by. They save on a three plus. They've rolled a four. So again, so that's an awful lot of firepower that the Germans have thrown into there uh, for a very little uh, payback. Okay, so the next thing the Germans are going to do is they're going to call in battalion mortars. So they're going to fire. Um, Onto the built-up area. I've already checked to see if I can, if there's any way that the the fall of shot can catch the uh, the squad plus the the combat patrol that's just outside of town, and really that can't. So the mortars are just going to hit the the the, uh, the platoon, I should say, not the squad. Um, so let's see what they roll. Six. So it's going to be just harassing fire. So it's normally five dice for mortars, but they drop one for the cover. Um, and it's just harassing fire, so hitting on fours and saving on threes. Okay, three hits. Uh, so Ivan is saving on three plus. Oh, uh, he saved one, but failed to save uh, two. So that's going to be suppressed plus a kill roll. So if... Um, if the Germans can roll a five or a six, they'll take out one of those Russian squads uh, in the built-up area. Three, so no. So the German, uh, the Russians are now uh, shocked, uh, sorry, suppressed in that town. All right, and the Germans have used up one, two, three, four, five of their orders. They've got four left. A bit of housekeeping now for the Germans. The, the concern is um, they need to get this this uh, squad here uh, rallied up because uh, they are just basically screaming to be knocked over when they're suppressed like that. So it's a three dice rally. Oh, and they've managed to rally off one point of shock. All right, so uh, they're now only hesitant. Um, three orders left. Um, 
these guys are over eight inches away. Uh, they had to be, otherwise the mortars wouldn't be able to be called in. So they are suppressed. It probably doesn't get any better than that. So they're going to go for a infantry assault. Um, before they do though, I'll get these guys to provide uh, fire. Uh, so that's six dice, uh, losing two for the cover, and, a, and uh, they don't have to worry about spotting, those, those Russians are obscured. So four dice, hitting on fours, two hits, Russians saving on three plus, and they've saved them both. Uh, but that will count as um, uh, having, uh, when, they, when, they, when these guys go in, at least the, they'll uh, count as having the enemy shot at. Uh, so, right, so it's a three dice uh, advance. They need to roll seven. Mm. You know what? They're going to they're gonna risk it for a biscuit. They're going to shoot and move. So they'll roll uh, two dice um, because uh, they normally lose two for moving uh, plus the cover. So it's down to two, but you know, that's cocked. So they definitely got one hit. That's cocked again. <laughs> two hits. Okay, now it's a double six. So Germans, uh, when they roll a double six, that's actually a third hit. So that was pretty well worth it. So that's three hits on Ivan, saving on three. They've saved them all. Um, okay, so now. These guys need seven on two dice, and they've got it, so that's enough, and they go charging in. Okay, so now we're gonna go through the uh, the whole close combat thing now. Um, so, you get two dice per squad, but if you're suppressed, it's, uh, it's halved, you reduce it. So, uh, that's three dice for Ivan. The Germans, they get uh, two dice per squad because they're not suppressed, and they're not carrying any shock, so that would normally be six, but uh, they're attacking troops um, in a, uh, let's see, do they get uh, bonuses for being in buildings? Yes, they get one, the, the Germans lose one D6 because they're attack, attacking troops in a building or a bunker. Um, they had, if there had been no attacking fire, they would have lost another one, uh, but uh, there was plenty of that. So it's five versus three dice. And in close combat, the way it works is uh, every uh, all fours are a hit, and there's no uh, there's no saves. So a four will be a hit. Let's see what um, what we roll here. Ivan's obviously the orange dice. Ivan got no hits, and huh, the Germans got one. So. They've won the close combat. They get a kill roll on on uh, Ivan, for, which is a kill. So they've taken out a section, or in this case, a squad. So Ivan loses one squad. Um, and the Germans will move in and take that possession of that, uh, that built up area. Now, in addition to um, taking possession of this, the Germans would also get a rally, they get a free rally roll, but considering they've got no hits on them whatsoever, that, that's, that's a moot point. Now, Russians retreat, they go back 3d6, and they either go the full move or uh, until they reach cover. So if they fall back into that built up area there, because that's where they'll retreat to, directly to their rear, 3d6. Okay, so that is eight inches, that will put them, um, Eight inches from there to there, it's easy. They'll they'll end up in that uh, that built up area there uh, with their um, two squads and suppressed. So that's where Ivan's heading to. So okay, as we can see, there's a German platoon in here. They've got no shock on them. They're just there. The Russian squad, uh, uh, two squads, or what's left of the platoon, have fallen back and they're in that that uh, church type area. But it's obviously. It's the Soviet Union, so this is not, is not church anymore. Um, this is political commissar's bachelor pad. 
Uh, so he's back there with his two squads, uh, uh, and they're chilling out. Uh, just another thing, uh, just from the last video, that's a recon element, and so is the uh, the German um, armored car. So they don't count towards FUBARs. Uh, you can lose up to two elements of recon before uh, the third element uh, adds to your FUBARs. Just a bit of housekeeping there. So the Germans have one order left. And the Russians, for their part, have not reacted to anything. So they've still got all their orders. Okay, so the next... Uh, the next and final order for the Germans in this phase is um, this combat patrol is going to conduct reconnaissance of that um, wooded area to see if there's anything uh, hiding in ambush. The uh, Russian role is obviously the uh, orange dice. Again, a reminder of the way I solo it is um, basically the, 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 the Germans will attempt to defeat the Russian uh, role here. So they've got to get um, higher than the red dice. And they have. Is there anything in there? Well, it just so happens there is. That is an ambush point for the, the Russians. And there is uh, two or a, two squads of Maxim machine guns. So those uh, Maxims are now revealed. And there they are. So they're very, very sneaky, sneaky. So. Recon has paid off for that combat patrol. Um, that's the last of the company orders. The Rush, the Germans can d dive into their battalion orders at this point. Uh, but with the Russians also on six, um, the Germans don't want to risk losing initiative. So they will not use any battalion orders at this point, except maybe they might use some in the, um, in the defensive phase, uh, reacting to uh, Russian uh, movements. So now we go over to the Russians, they've got six orders, and let's see what they can do with them. All right, so the first thing they're gonna do, call in battalion mortars, and they're gonna call it in um, on this uh, German uh, platoon on the high ground. Let's see if they, uh, they uh, get their mortars this time. Oh, four. Again, they've gone low on ammunition. Jeez, uh, this has been, uh, these mortars have been an absolute disaster for Ivan. So uh, battalion mortars are not available. Um, geez, uh, things are, when things go bad, they go bad big, big time. Okay, well, they're revealed now. So those Maxim machine guns are going to fire at the Germans on the high ground. So each Maxim um, generates six dice. Um, so that's going to be a grand total of 12. So we'll do six and six. Uh, oh, mind you, uh, those Germans, yeah, that's right. Well, they're in, they're in those that tree line. So I'll need a spotting dice. Uh, hitting on fours, they are spotted and they've got three hits so far. So spotted three with three hits. You use the same spotting dice when firing as a platoon. Okay. Uh, three, four, five, six. So six hits on the Germans on the high ground there, uh, and they're spotted, so they're saving on three, sorry, four plus. And they failed to save three, um, so that will take them to suppressed and a kill roll. So Ivan will kill on a five or a six. No, but they've got these Germans on this high ground here, well and truly suppressed with an incredible weight of fire from those, that maximum machine gun platoon, pouring in some love on um, that German platoon on the high ground. So, so far they've used up three, or, uh, three orders, two for the failed mortars, which is, <laughs> and one for the maxims. So three orders left, what to do? Okay, so the Russians are gonna use a company commander order. Uh, the company commander is opening the door to these guys here. So that's uh, automatically going to cost him one order. Now, he's going to have to roll um, to see if it, how much more it costs him. Um, he's got two orders left. Oh, okay. So that's it. it just, it's just cost him the one order. So they've got away with it. And so they're going to fire again. Um, 12 dice with a spotter. Not spotted this time, but three hits. 
and then the other maxim. So that's three so far. Four, five. Only five hits this time and unspotted. So the, uh, the Germans have got five hits, saving on four this time. Oh, okay, that's not good. <laughs> they didn't save any. So that's uh, one squad, two squads, and then a kill roll. Oh, they've wiped out the entire platoon. So that will trigger the first foobar for the Germans. You'd say the Germans were saving on fours. Obviously, they were not spotted, so they were saving on threes. Regardless, when you roll, when you roll uh, five... Uh, twos and ones, uh, three or four, it doesn't make any difference. So yes, uh, that's that's pretty devastating fire from these Russian Maxim Maxim machine guns. Um, so uh, we're now we'll now go into the the command crisis role, and I'll show you how we um, we sort that out for uh, for playing solo. So now it's the command crisis role for the Germans. Okay. So the way I do it, like I said before, is simply I roll 2d6. White is the Russians, uh, the white is the, the Germans number and the Russians need to equal it. So not, but if they roll a four um, on the, this red dice, um, oh, again, so close. So no, no, no battalion orders lost, but the Germans do have their first foobar. Okay, so the next order for Ivan is going to be these guys in here in this built-up area. So from here, they're gonna shoot at the Germans that have come over that rise. Okay, so that's close close range fire. So normally it's six dice. They get plus one for close range. Those Germans are in the open. So they're hitting on fours and the Germans are gonna save on fours. One, two, three, three hits. And Saving on four plus, oh, they saved them all. Okay. Well, they're gonna give this final order to this uh, platoon on the high ground here. Uh, elevated, their range goes out to 20 inches. Uh, so that's well within range. Um, these Germans here are in the open because they're not in that wooded, uh, that uh, wheat field and they, those are not hedges. They're just boundaries marking the wheat field. So uh, four dice, no spotting required. Uh, hitting on fours, and they've got three hits. And the Germans are going to save on four plus. Oh, they've taken uh, two hits, so they will go to being hesitant. And that concludes uh, all the orders for this phase uh, for both sides. Now, the, we go into the regroup phase. Ivan only has one regroup action, and he's going to do a re-squatting. So what that does is he can take any of his depleted platoons um, and re-squad them, um, which basically he will take this squad here and these guys here. They have to rally on the company commander, so they will go down here. And they'll form a new full strength platoon on the company commander. So that's it for, for Ivan. Um, you might wonder why give up this high ground. Well, um, the Russians do have another entire company and this is their consolidation point. So uh, by getting these troops off here, uh, down into this uh, area here, this frees up more room for the Russian platoons to uh, consolidate or uh, deploy. Um, that just leaves now uh, the Germans. Okay, so these guys haven't moved, so it's gonna be a three dice rally for them. I rallied all off that anti-tank gun, uh, anti-tank gun detachment. Are pretty switched on, dudes. 
Um, and that leaves uh, just, uh, well, they've fired this turn. Um, the Germans are going to go for, oh, they've got one, one, one other option, one other regroup action left. Uh, a move for someone who hasn't moved, a rally for someone who hasn't rallied, um, or a re-squatting. Uh, no. Okay, so obviously this is the uh, yes, this is the other rally. So a three dice rally for these boys. Ah, oh, and they did not remove any shock whatsoever. So that's it. Uh, that's it for Germans. That's the end of turn nine. Let's move on to turn ten. Okay, so now both sides are down to eight dice because both are carrying one foobar. So it's eight dice uh, for their company orders now. So um, this is the battalion orders group roll. Russians are red, obviously. Okay, so... For the Germans, they've got no ones, uh, lots of sixes, but they've already maxed out. So they've got their orders. Ah, uh, but for poor Ivan, okay, he has three ones. So he's going to have a hesitant company, uh, but he will have uh, five uh, company orders. So five company orders for the Russians and uh, eight company orders for the Germans. And so now we go on with the initiative roll. This is going to be important in regards to uh, to how this uh, this is going to play out. So the initiative, both are on six uh, battalion orders, so there's no pluses or minuses. Germans win ties. Germans are white. Uh, and the Germans have the initiative. Okay, so they will go up to nine orders because they get the bonus order. So 9 v 5 uh, and now we have to work out which of the two Russian companies are going to be hesitant. So 1, 2 and 3 it's going to be the company on the German right. 4, 5 or 6 will be the company on the German left. The company on the German left. So number 2 company has gone hesitant. The first thing the Germans are going to go with is a call for a fire mission division uh, because they want to really take care of those chaps. <coughs> All right, so here we go. Eight. So I'll quick at the, um, the artillery support table, uh, fire mission division, and eight is a heavy, a heavy battery fire mission. Okay, so now they have to roll for their accuracy. 11, so it's uh, critical. So a heavy battery would generate eight dice, but because it's uh, very accurate, they will get nine dice. So it's nine dice on these chaps here and nine dice on this platoon back there. Um, there's no way that the Russians, uh, the Germans could get fire onto uh, to cover the lot. So the main effort was obviously to take out this so there's zero in on that uh, that squad there. Um, and so that's going to be nine dice uh, and nine dice. That's pretty brutal. Okay, so the, all the orange dice are going to land on the platoon and the white will land on the maxims, um, hitting on fours. Okay, that one's cocked. Okay. So, um, one, two, three, three hits there, and one, two, three, four hits on the platoon. Okay, so now we're gonna roll for this, uh, the saves. Obviously the white of the maxims, and the, everyone's saving on four plus. Uh, so that's one point of shock on the maxims and two points of shocks on the platoon. That will suppress the infantry platoon. And, uh, well, it won't suppress, won't suppress the maxims. Okay, so these guys are gonna shoot into there. 
Um, now, um, it's normally six dice. They get one for the close range. They drop two, so that's five. So it's five dice for the spotter. So they lose two for the cover, but they gain one for the close range. Okay, they have spotted and they've got three hits. Okay, so that means that the Russians will be saving on four plus. And they've only saved one. So that's two shock on those Russians in this BUA. So now that that's, uh, that's going on, um, the Russians can react if they so desire and they, they will. Okay, so the Russians are reacting here so they'll spend their order they have um they can't really have some shock on them so they're firing at close range so it's seven dice they lose one for the shock so they're down to six so they have six die uh six dice um yeah Six dice uh, from here to there. And they don't need to spot because the Germans are in the open. Only to get two hits. A measly two with the, Rush, uh, the Germans saving on four plus. They didn't save either of them. So the Germans become hesitant and they take two shock. But now these Germans will shoot. So seven dice because of the close range fire. Um, but they lose two for the cover, so that's five with the spotter. So they did spot, and they got a measly one hit. Uh, pretty, pretty ordinary shooting. Russians are saving um, on a four plus, but they don't save it. So now they will become suppressed. So the next order is for the Germans. They're gonna give it to this platoon here. Now, the idea is they could do a rapid advance, three dice, oh, sorry, uh, two dice picking the, the highest two, um, but they would need, need a 10 to reach. So that's a bit, of a bit of a large ask. So instead, what they're gonna do is they're just gonna to move to this high ground and then fire. So, 2d6. Okay, eight inches. All right, well, that's gonna get them to close range. So they're just going to move up to, to here. They're not within a one inch, so they're not, they're not doing a close assault. Um, so uh, normally it's six dice, plus one for the close range is seven, uh, but they are firing into cover, so they'll drop two, so they're down to five with a spotting dice. Okay, so they have spotted and they've got two hits. Okay, so that means Ivan has to save using a four. They have not saved either, so that's an automatic kill. So they've removed the base. That's, that's pretty good uh, fire movement by the Germans there. Okay, so the next concern for the Germans is those Russians in this ground over here. So what the Germans are gonna do is uh, just as a precautionary uh, issue, they're gonna get the Pack 50 to open fire. That is a HE5 power um, of 4D6. So it's just 4D6 with a spotting dice. So I'll give that a shot. So they've spotted, and they've got four hits. So four hits, saving on four. They've only saved one, so that's automatically, that's, that's suppressed. That's a pretty, uh, 
pretty good shot by that uh, pack 50. Okay, so the situation um, is pretty interesting now for the Germans because they've uh, inflicted a hell of a lot of damage on this Russian platoon in this uh, built up area here. Now, th the Russians are currently at seven units lost. Uh, so if they can take out one more section or squad, they'll inflict the second FUBAR. So to that end, it might be worthwhile, this company commander using a company order to order that platoon to do a close assault um, on the Russians in here. So the company orders have gone in. That's one, one order. Now we roll to see how many extra orders it will cost. Two, okay, so that's gonna be expensive. That's the last of the, the German company orders. Okay, um, so they obviously they make it in. So they move in for the assault and we'll go through the close combat resolution now. Okay, so the Germans are assaulting, they get two dice per squad. So there's their six dice, but they're attacking a BUA. So they, or buildings, so they lose one. The Russians, they get, um, they would normally get two dice per squad, but they're suppressed, so they only get one, so they get two dice. Um, the Germans did shoot before they went in, so they don't lose any dice there. Um, because the same as the last assault in this, in the other BUA, because the Russians are suppressed, they don't get the, they, they, they can't shoot back, so there's no opportunity fire, so they can't, they can't test or, or attempt a reaction to opportunity fire, but even if they could, they've already reacted in this turn anyway, so there's no re uh, opportunity fire or, or closing fire. Those, the Russians are basically in that built up area, they're suppressed. Um, they could attempt to withdraw, but the Russians were under orders to fight to the last man. Um, so they're hitting on fours, one hit by the Russians, and two hits. Um, by the Germans. Okay, so uh, that means that uh, that one hit on the Germans cause uh, causes one point of shock, um, uh, and two hits on the the Soviets. That's uh, a, a squad wiped out. So that leaves a single squad that's left. Um, a single squad has to do a um, has to suffer a kill roll. So if uh, the Germans roll a five or a six. They'll wipe out that squad. They do. So that's uh, another squad destroyed. So that entire platoon is now wiped out. That is a FUBAR, another FUBAR for the Germans. The Germans will move into that BUA and do a, they get a free uh, rally action. So we'll, we'll do that uh, shortly uh, after we've mo moved the Germans in but the Russians will also suffer a immediate command crisis. So we'll have to do that role as well. So the Germans get a 1D rally uh, as they reorg on the objective. Uh, they don't get it, so they maintain that one, uh, one shock on them, uh, but they have taken the BUA. Um, the Germans on this flank, second company are really rolling up the Russian second company. So now we'll do the command crisis roll. The orange is the Russians. So if the Germans can roll a three, they don't. So no battalion orders are lost, but the Russians are now up to their second FUBAR, which means they'll drop to seven battalion dice in the next turn. So, um, that's used up all the German um, orders, all their company orders um, in this in this phase, um, and basically what we have a situation here now where uh, second company has done a fantastic job. They've really just um, smashed through this this Russian uh, right flank. Uh, Russian second second company is just a wreck. Um, they've lost uh, a complete platoon here. They've got uh, a mauled platoon sitting back in the church. And this other platoon is way out here on the left, quite isolated. Um, the platoon, the, the whole company is hesitant in this, this, for this turn anyway. Um, so they're not going to be able to do really much 
uh, to influence the battle at all uh, for the rest of this turn. Um, and uh, that means that the Russians really, they're, they're, it's a do or die now on this high ground here, uh, but it's only turn 10. Uh, the Germans still have six turns plus another three, potentially another nine turns to, to seize the objective. So they look like they're on pretty firm ground to do that. That said, they have lost five units, so they are uh, only three more units off getting a second Fubara of, them, of their own. But uh, as long as the Germans are quite methodical, they should be able to, to clean up from here. But we shall see. Right, they're still within command range, obviously. So one thing the Germans will do before they hand over, um, they end their, um, their phase, is they're gonna burn a battalion order and attempt a three dice rally on these guys here. Um, the concern being if the Russians deploy that high ground, they could really chew those guys up. Um, so it's a three dice rally and they've only managed to remove one shock. Uh, that could be the difference, who knows. So that ends the uh, the German phase, and now they're going to hand over to the Russians. All right, so desperate times call for desperate measures, and it's the Russians' turn. They're going to call in a fire mission division from that forward observer. Now, um, this low ridge uh, creates dead ground six inches back, but um, beyond that, uh, which is basically to this point here that Ford Observer can see. So he's going to call in a fire mission division um, onto this Panzer three, and that should hit this complete Panzer three platoon, the company headquarters, just as incidentally, and then uh, a, one section of Panzer threes. So that's that's the aim for the Soviets here. Um, so, first of all, let's let's see what they what they get. Oh, twelve! You can't get any better than that. That's. Uh, <clears throat> it seems like the Russian artillery's come good. So divisional, um, fire mission, twelve jabos, uh, three attacks. Right. All right, jabos. Don't see them very often, so we're going to consult the Book of Words. And let's look up. Uh, Jabos. Okay, it says here. The player nominates three different targets, aim points. The player conducts a separate attack upon each target, aim point. Rolling for accuracy against each target aim point for each attack. All right, so that says to me um, that it's three. It's either individual vehicles or, or anti-tank guns because they would be aim points, um, or individual platoons. Okay, so to that end, um, now given the chaotic nature of uh, close air support. Um, what I think I'm going to do is I'll, I'll randomise um, who gets struck and I'll, I'll make it between um, the most likely targets, which is the armour and that full infantry platoon over there. So we're just going to, we're going to randomise it and make it somewhat chaotic. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so this one's going to get targeted. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So that's the targets. So they're going to hit um, these pans of threes, these pans of fours, and um, that infantry platoon. Um, now let's see which one, um, odd or even. So it's going to be this one, odd or even. It's going to be this one. Um, and obviously it's that infantry pl platoon. So this Panzer three is going to get struck. This Panzer four is going to get struck and that uh, infantry platoon. Okay, so now we roll for accuracy. So 
the accuracy roll on this guy, seven. So it's zeroed in. So um, that's bad news for him. Uh, this guy here, uh, it's harassing. So um, actually, it's a, th well, it's a three. We'll have to come back to that. And for the, uh, the infantry platoon, again, it's zeroed in. So bad news for them. Okay, now a three. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, that's right. It, in the rules, it says um, uh, zeroed in or or not zeroed in or less. It's it's harassing fire, so that's less. So it'll just be harassing on there. Okay, so now it's eight dice. Now these guys are zeroed in, and so are they. So it's it's just whatever you roll. That's the shock. They they don't get to save it. Uh, this guy will uh, he'll get to save on a three plus. So this one first. One, two, three, four. That's four hits. Uh, he's already got one shock on him. So that's going to take him up to five, which will knock out this Panzer. This Panzer three has been KO'd. Okay, so he's knocked out. Um, this guy here. Hitting on fours. One, two, three. So he's got three hits on him. And he could save on three plus. So he takes one shock. So it's one shock on this Panzer four, And the infantry in the open over yonder, it's zeroed in. So it's bad news for them. One, two, three. They've got one shock on them already. So it's a kill roll. So they're suppressed and that's it. So they've just been suppressed. So the next order is uh, a one dice rally with these uh, maxims. Um, so I'll do a one one dice rally, a four plus, and they can sh uh, shoot. Uh, they can rally off one shock and fire. If they don't get a, if they get one or two or three, then it's one or the other. Six. Okay. So they're taking the shock off, and they'll fire, um, and they'll open fire all twelve dice on these poor chaps here. Okay, so it's 12 dice uh, coming out of that wooded area into these guys. Hitting on fours, uh, there's no spotters because they are in the open and they're not suppressed. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven hits. Okay, seven hits, saving on fours. Okay, so this is a big ask for these poor chaps. Seven hits, saving on four plus. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, they save five. Two shock, that takes them to suppressed, plus a kill roll. So Ivan's got a chance of killing them if he rolls a five or a six. Oh, he's killed one. And because there's a, uh, a uh, single squad left, they have to do a morale or a route test. So they need to pass their morale rating. So a four plus and he will pass. Okay, so for the next company order, um, Russians are gonna do a three dice rally on these guys in the woods here. And they'll also do, uh, that still leaves two units to be rallied, which is the depleted platoon in here and the uh, platoon over there. They also need to get this company commander out of harm's way before he gets whacked. Um, okay, so three dice rally for those guys in the in the woods. Oh, they've only got one one shock off. Uh, it takes them to to their hesitant in the woods. Um, and that's all the Russian company orders. Um, they could dive into a battalion order, and. Uh, they're probably going to have to do that. Makes sense to do that. Uh, they've only got one divisional mission left. So if they drop to, to down to five, they can still call them the divisional mission. So that's not an issue. So they're going to use a company order and they'll move the company commander out of harm's way. All right, so we're going to do a rapid move for the company commander. He's going to move back towards uh, the platoon in the broken ground. So 3D, uh, rapid move, so it's three dice picking the two highest, six and three. Okay, so he's gonna go nine inches. 
So that's moved him back to there. Um, he still he could still potentially be a target. So unfortunately, he still might get shot up. Okay, so that's that done. So we're now into the regroup phase. And to regroup, uh, the Russians will do a three dice rally on these guys here because they're the ones in the most the most danger. Uh, these guys being suppressed. Uh, yeah, anyway, three dice for them. And they removed two shock. So they have just one shock on them now. Makes them a little bit tougher. Uh, for the Germans. I'll do a three dice rally there. Oh, again, only one. So that takes them up to two shock. And obviously these fellas over here are in the hurt locker. So a three dice rally on them. Um, or, you know what? They're going to do a three dice rally on the Panzer fours. And it removes one shock. So that gets the shock off them. Okay. So that ends turn 10. We now move on to turn 11. Um, the Germans currently are carrying seven uh, lost units. Uh, the Russians are still on two, four, six, nine. Nine lost units. I'm not counting the recon elements, of course. Um... So let's move on to turn 11. Okay, so the Russians are down to seven dice. The Germans are on eight. Uh, the Germans are white. Okay, so the Soviets, well, they've got Grand total of a double six. The second six gives them a battalion order. And one, two, three, four, five, six. They've got six orders. And um, the Germans have gained back a battalion order. So both the Russians and the Germans are back up to six battalion orders. And the Germans have got six company orders. So it's six company orders each and six battalion orders each. So now we roll for initiative. It's just a straight roll. Germans are white. The Germans have the initiative. Okay, so the Germans start the, they got the initiative. First thing they're gonna do is call in a divisional smoke mission. And they're gonna lay it, they're gonna to wanna to lay it in front of that feature there. Um, okay, so let's see if they get it first. Four. Uh, for a divisional mission, uh, that's not going to get it. Um, yeah. Four or less. It's the radio soon. We still haven't been able to make contact. So no support available. So they didn't get their smoke mission. All right, so the next order that was used was this, uh, with the German Panzer Fours. Uh, they have uh, advanced seven inches and they, they fired at the uh, sustained fire machine guns and inflicted two shock. Um, but that's triggered the ambush uh, by the Russian anti-tank uh, guns. And two of them are on that high ground over there. And um, they're uh, 45 millimeter low velocity guns. They've got an uh, AP value or an armor piercing value of uh, four. And uh, these Panzer IV's armor is five. Uh, they'll be frontal shots. Uh, they're gonna well, actually, um, this one here is a flank shot on him, but this one here will be a forward shot. So it's going to be flank shot onto him and on the front or a uh, frontal armor of this one here. So this one will be it will, will engage that one first. Um, so all it's a matter of doing is making sure that they're actually within the appropriate range. Okay, so. 25 inches and 21 inches. Uh, they're elevated, yet yeah, they're under the 30 inch band, so that's perfectly fine. So, first things first, we'll go for the one 
at the furthest range band. So he's going for a flank shot on this one here. Let's see if he, uh, uh, ch -ch -ch. What, do you, what does he need to hit? I think it's at least a seven. Whoa, it's an 11. So he's hit him. Okay, so it's a, it's a critical hit. It's on the flank, so his arm is four. Um, his AP is uh, four, but it's, of course it's critical. It's gone up to five. So the German's gonna have a minus one to his roll. Oh, he's rolled a double one. So this Panzer IV has burst into flames and he's knocked out. And that should create the second FUBAR for the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. This will be the second FUBAR for for the Germans. So uh, obviously the German the German number will be this white one here. So they've gone with a one. The Russians have two uh, opportunities to guess it. Three, no, it didn't guess it on the first one. And they didn't guess it on the second one. So um, that's all that happens. Uh, Jerry picks up his second FUBAR. Okay. Uh, now we've got the other anti-tank gun shot to resolve. Okay, so now it is this uh, anti-tank gun shooting at this Panzer IV, so it's clearly frontal. So, there's no pluses or minuses. It's just a straight up. Let's uh, roll to see if we hit. Seven. So that is a hit. Okay, but it's not critical. Uh, they are spotted because those Panzers are in the open. Uh, so now it's just... A four versus five, so Germans get a plus one this time to their roll. Ten, okay, it just ping, and it bounces straight off. Okay, so the next order now is the Panzer threes come up. They're going to shoot at the SMG squad as well, uh, or SMG platoon. Uh, so they have, um, they've moved. So they normally would generate four dice each, eight. They've moved down to six uh, with a spotting dice. Okay, they've spotted and they got uh, one, three, 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 four, five. So only two hits, uh, but Ivan is saving on four plus. He saved them both. Okay, Germans are down to three orders. Uh, okay, so the next German order is going to be these guys in here. They're going to fire onto the Soviets in the church. They're going to attempt to do a, a one dice rally and then fire. They failed that, so they can either take the shock off or they can shoot. So they've uh, they've got shock on, so that's a minus one, and they failed the rally, so that's a minus two. But they gain one for close range. So normally it'd be seven, but this minus three, so it's four dice. Um, oh, and there's cover, uh, hard cover, so they lose another two. So they're down to two dice. They got one hit, and there's a spotting dice required, but they did spot. So one hit, uh, Ivan has to save on a four plus, uh, three. So he takes another shock inside that built up area. Okay, so now the Germans in this built up area are gonna shoot. So it's seven dice, but they're firing into cover, hard cover. So they drop, uh, they drop two. So it's five with a spotting dice. They didn't spot, but they got two hits because they rolled one, two, two, five, five. So two saves for Ivan, and he needs to roll three plus. Two and a two, so he hasn't saved them. So he's gone to suppressed, and the Germans get a kill roll. So they'll kill on a five or a six, and they've rolled a four, so they haven't killed them. Um, now at this point, the Germans company commander can go all in and uh, get them to uh, close assault maybe. So this is the situation for the Germans now um, and just to confirm yes they are within 18 inches so they are still in command range as are these chaps here mind you at the extremities of it. Um, the Germans only need to get three more uh, units section squads uh, individual anti-tank guns and the like to break the Russians. Now here's some low hanging fruit. They could put given a company commander's order and then go for the assault and probably take out those two 
squads there, leaving them just one more squad to win the game. Um, and in the next turn, they could really mass a lot of firepower here and try to get something there. So they're going to do it. Um, so they're going to put in a company order. So that is uh, the company commander is putting in a company order there. So it costs them one. See how many battalion extra orders it costs, because this will have to go into the battalion bank. <laughs> okay, it's going to cost them two. So the battalion command uh, pool is going to go down from six to four. But at this point, I don't think that the Germans really care. Um, and so they are going to um, fire and go in again. So five dice. Um, one, two, three, four, five, because, um, well, mind, mind you, they will be moving, so they lose another two. So it's seven minus four all up. Um, and they got one hit. The spotting dice, they did not spot. The Russians will save on a three plus. Two, all right, so it's a kill roll. So the Germans can kill with a five or a six. Nope. And so they'll now, now, they will now assault. Okay, so these guys here need a four on 2d6 to reach the Russians in this built up area. <laughs> Only just done it, they've rolled a five, four and a one. So um, they've reached, they have. Uh, Six dice versus two. They lose one because they're fighting against Russians in a built up area. So it's five to two. So the Germans have got three hits with no re reply uh, on them. So that's gonna, that's going to kill one squad immediately and they get a kill roll on the second one. Um, if they roll a five or a six, they've rolled a three, but the Russians do have to do a morale test. They need a four plus, and they've rolled a three. So that's two squads gone, and the Germans can move in and uh, take that other B away. So we are now up to the Russian phase, because the, uh, the Germans are, are going to cut it there. The Germans have successfully captured all these BUAs over here and they've destroyed another platoon. So out of all the platoons in second company, two have been completely destroyed. Uh, so for the Russians, they are now at 11 units lost, one more and, the, and they are broken. Uh, by contrast, the Germans have lost two tanks. So that's two, five infantry, uh, seven plus the infantry uh, the infantry support gun. So they've lost eight. Um, but it's now the Russian phase. Uh, and the first thing they're going to do, um, uh, they could go with their fire mission division and then uh, fire their two guns. And uh, they've only got one divisional fire mission left. Uh, they might as well throw it in and they're going to throw it in against these Germans over here. So it's fire mission division and there's the target. Eight. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's going to be probably a heavy battery. Yep, it's a heavy battery. So it's uh, now we do an accuracy roll. Seven, it's zeroed in. So nothing spectacular there, but it is going to be eight dice. Um, they're in the open. They're hitting on fours. The Germans will be saving um, on fours. Okay, so they've got there. A grand total of one, two, three, four hits. Perfectly average. Four hits on those Germans there. They're saving on four plus. And they've saved them all. Uh, yeah. All right. So um, that just leaves the Russian anti-tank guns. Um, they're going to fire... Um, at the Panzer III, uh, yep, because uh, their armor is probably 
a little bit uh, more fragile and they're probably going to have more chance of knocking those those Panzer threes out um, mind you uh, do they have line of sight well they are elevated so I'm going to give it to them before they can fire they're going to have to do a single dice rally um, and if they don't pass they won't be able to shoot so it's a, a 1d6 rally and well, they're passed, so they can fire, even though they will have uh, a minus one uh, for the shock and another minus two for the movement for doing the rally. So they'll be shooting at a minus three, but hey, uh, you never know your luck in a big city. So uh, the first one shooting at this Panzer three here. Um, so it's just a straight up seven needed. Yeah, he's got a seven, so that's a hit on him. Um, and for uh, the other one, will have to shoot at the Panzer four because he definitely has got a line of sight blocked to him. So he's firing at this guy here, needing a seven. Oh, a double one, so completely missed that Panzer four. Actually, he needed a he needed a ten to hit because of the uh, um, the the rally action and the um, suppression. But uh, hey, rolling double one, that didn't really matter anyway, did it? So the frontal armor of the Panzer three, um, the armor is five. And so the German will have a plus one to his roll, 10, 11. It's just bounced harmlessly off. Um, so that's all the Russian orders used up. They could dive into their bank and they will um, and what they'll do is the first thing they're going to do is give a company order to um, to their anti-tank gun um, so they'll need let's that's going to cost one battalion order uh, it's coming from the company commander uh, back behind the wooded area, back in here. Um, and it's, uh, it's gonna cost him three orders all up. So the battalion is, that's gonna, yeah, three orders all up. Okay, and they'll fire again. And they've missed. Okay. Okay, that leaves Russians in a pretty precarious position. They really have got uh, nothing else to do now. They're going to drive straight into the battalion orders. They're going to spend one on each of these units to do a three dice rally, which will reduce their battalion orders down to one. Um, but they'll do a three dice rally on each of these platoons, both the sustained fire machine gun platoon and the infantry platoon. All right, so the first three dice rallies for these guys here. Well, they've taken two shock off, so that takes them to no shock. And then the three dice rally for these guys here. And they've got two shock off, which gets them back up to no shock whatsoever. That leaves them with just one battalion order left. Um, and that's pretty much it. For the Germans, they've got two reorg uh, or regroup um, orders. Well, the first one's going to be on these fellas. They're going to do a three dice rally. Six, six. Well, there's only two shock on them anyway, so that takes all their shock off. And one more, whoa, one more uh, reorg um, order left, or regroup order left. I'll get it right one of these days. Well, I'll probably rally up those fellas there. So a three dice rally on them. And they've removed just one shock, which will leave them with just one point of shock on them. And that ends turn 11. We're now going to move into turn 12 with a serious, uh, serious situation facing the Russians. Very precarious. They'll only have one battalion order uh, left, so they're going to invariably surrender initiative to the Germans. Uh, and only one squad off breaking. So let's move into turn 12. And in all probability, the final turn of the game. 
Okay, seven dice each because both sides are on two food bars. Okay. Uh, the Russians are going to pull back one battalion order. They've got two ones, so they came close to a, uh, a hesitant company. So they'll end up with four orders, four company orders, and they'll be on two battalion orders. For the Germans, they've picked up seven company orders, which is probably uh, exact, exactly what they want at this stage. Now we'll just roll for the initiative. The Germans have uh, two battalion orders to the Russians. Sorry, the Germans have four battalion orders to the Russians, two. So it's a plus two initiative. So we'll add two to the white dice roll here. Okay. The Russians will go to six. Um, and the Germans go to six. It's a tie. Uh, but it's enough to give the Germans the initiative, even though they won't pick up a bonus order. So the first thing the Germans are going to do is they're going to attempt their divisional smoke mission again, um, so they can blind those uh, anti-tank guns. And if they can isolate these infantry without being interfered with by the anti-tank guns, then they should be able to crush that infantry. That's their theory anyway. Um, so... Following mission for, yep, okay, so they've got it. So now they've got the roll for the accuracy of the smoke screen. Okay, so it's a four, it's a smoke screen, it's on target and it lasts for one combat phase. Uh, if they rolled any one, if they rolled one less then it would have uh, had no effect at all. So the smoke screen is down and it's going to cover them for the German phase anyway. Um, so. That's that's the smoke screen down. So the next order is going to be given to the Panzer four here. So he's just going to fire straight into the submachine gun. Oh, sorry, the uh, sustained fire machine gun platoon. That's five dice uh, with a spotting dice. Mind you, I'm pretty sure that's now close range fire. So it's at um, six inches. Uh, tanks at close range. So they get another dice. So it's going to be five, it's six dices, six dice, I should say. <laughs> six dice with a spotter. Oh yeah, they didn't spot. Now they've got two hits. So Ivan is saving on four. Ah, oh, sorry, three. He's only saved one. So that's a single point of shock on these guys. Okay, so the next order for the Germans will be given to the Panzer threes. Okay, these Panzer threes now are going to move and shoot. So it's uh, eight dice normally, because four each, but they're going to lose two for the movement and a spotting dice. So they'll shoot and then they'll they'll advance. So an unspotted, but three hits. So the Russians will be saving. On threes, they save them all, and now the tanks will go crashing forward. Two D six plus two, uh, one two three, okay, five inches. Which gets them up to here. Okay, now the Russians are going to react to that. They do have uh, integral anti-armor assets. So let's have a look at, see what they've got there. Okay, so these are guys are gonna react. Um, uh, the, the firepower is only one, but they're gonna give it a red hot shove. Uh, I mean, what else can they do? Um, first they fire to see if they hit. So they need uh, a seven and they do hit. Um, uh, it's in the open not obscured. So uh, the Germans are going to uh, have, geez, unless the, unless the Russians can roll something like a 12, I, I guess. So it's because it's one versus armor five. It's a difference of a minus. It's a plus four to the German roll. Yeah, it, ping, it just bounces straight off. Okay. Um, okay so now the next German order is for the platoon in this built up area. And they are within, uh, 
uh, 12 inches from the BUA to these guys. They've got an elevated range anyway, so 20, they're well within range of these guys. So they're gonna be firing out of this BUA into this Russian platoon here. Uh, this is what happens when your flanks get turned. So it's gonna be six dice um, shooting into these Russians here. Okay, six dice. They're in the open, no one really to spot. Hitting on fours, three hits. The Russians are saving on four plus. And they saved them all. Well, these these Russians are, uh, are nothing if not stubborn. So the next thing the Germans will do is they will consolidate here. Uh, so their third company will deploy and they've got a combat patrol uh, here and here. And their uh, final company order is they're gonna deploy um, their sustained fire machine gun on that combat patrol. Like okay, so that's the, uh, the MG 34 in the sustained fire role being deployed and they're going to engage the Russian maximum machine guns or maximum machine guns I should say. Uh, so six dice but they have deployed so that's classed as movement so they'll lose two spotter. So they've spotted and they've got three hits. Okay so Ivan's going to save on four plus. He's a save two but that takes him up to two shot now. Okay, so now the Germans are going to go for broke. They're going to use their company order to order the Panzer 3s to close. So that's going to take them down. Well, it's going to cost at least one, um, one battalion order, but it could cost a lot more or no more. Three. So it's going to cost another two. So battalion, okay, they're down to one battalion order. But um, this might do it. So... They're going to shoot with their, they normally have eight, so they're down to six, but they're at close range now, so it's seven. They have a spotting dice. They're spotted and got one, two, three, four hits. Four hits, so Ivan needs to, on four hits, four hits, saving on fours. He saved them all. Now the tanks will roll forward. Yep, easily. And they've gone into uh, overrun on the infantry. Right, now we need to resolve that. Okay, so we're on the, uh, this table here. AFB overruns versus uh, tank hunting. And we all hit on four pluses. Now we'll look at the infantry first. It's an early war infantry platoon, so it's this platoon back here. Um, they generate three dice, because they're not suppressed in any way, shape, or form. Um, then you've got the medium machine gun section. Well, each one of them will generate two dice. Oh, sorry, one dice, so that's up to five. Uh, infantry modifiers. Um, they're in cover. Yeah, well, I, I, I guess woods are cover. We'll, we'll check on that. But if that's correct, then they get another two. Um, the AFBs, um, medium to late. Yep, yeah, that's it. So they get three each. So the, the, the Germans will get six, six dice. Um, anything for shock? Uh, infantry modifiers... Uh, any shock, yes. Well, they've got shock, so they're minus 1d6. So they lose that. So it's 6 versus 6. And let's see what we've got here. Hitting on 4 pluses. So the Russians have inflicted 3 hits. And the tanks have inflicted 3 hits. So, um, there's no morale saves for the shock. So three shock on these guys. So these are going to be the, the primary target. So that will destroy one squad uh, because uh, the first shock um, 
takes them to suppress. The second is a kill roll. The third takes one out. So they're, they're suppressed and they've lost a, another machine gun, which will, uh, unfortunately for the Russians, be enough, I believe, to break them. That's 12. That's enough. Um, other than that, um, so the, the tanks win. Uh, they go suppressed, or well, one of them does at least. They fight as a platoon, so the platoon is suppressed because they've got three shock on them. Um, and the loser retreats. So these guys would flee to the rear. Uh, 3d6. We're doing this now just for completeness. 11, 12, 13. Yeah, it puts them back there somewhere. And that is game. Yeah, so um, I'm not 100% I'm not sure that I've done that correctly um, in regards to a tank overruns. I think I've given, I might have given the, the Russians more dice than they actually were warranted, but, um, but anyway, I, it made for an interesting and um, uh, thrilling little close combat, I guess. Um, and I could have given the, the Russians the option to uh, withdraw, um, but uh, I'm playing that these Russians are, are diehards and they, they, they won't withdraw, um, especially when the odds are so even. Um, so I, I didn't give them a withdrawal option there. Um, the Russians, even if I played their phase now, let the smoke lift, um, they can't engage these pairs of threes. Well, they can engage maybe this one. And even if they killed it, um, that would only be nine. If they killed that one as well, 10, 11, uh, 11 max. Um, yeah, it's, there's just no way the Russians can um, get the Germans up to their third FUBAR playing their phase as well. Um, that smoke was, was critical. Uh, because it uh, neutralized those uh, Russian guns um, and allowed the tanks to get in without fear of uh, being shot at as they poured in. Um, the Russians only had their uh, integral uh, anti-tank rifles within the platoon um, to engage, and I permitted them to fire from that section there at the uh, the German tanks as they came in. Um, the scenario, uh, well, the, the Germans have done this in 12, I th 12, 12 turns, I think 16 with the option of another possible three is probably too generous. And when I uh, publish the scenario, I'll probably make it, um, I'll probably make it 12 turns with a, uh, a D3 uh, roll available to the Germans at turn 10. Um, if they haven't achieved the objective by turn 10, they roll a D12, uh, sorry, a D3, and um, they might get an extra three, four, or five turns maximum. Um, so yeah, in conclusion, um, the German losses, they lost, um, all their infantry came from first company. So they lost uh, basically almost two platoons of infantry plus their infantry support gun. And they lost uh, a recon element, which doesn't count towards the FUBARs. And they lost uh, a Panzer three and a Panzer IV. The Russians, for their part, uh, they lost the two T-26 tanks, the BA-10, which does not count towards their uh, their FUBARs, same as the German recon elements. Um, and they also lost, uh, so the two tanks, and um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten sections of infantry, including a sustained fire machine gun. So that's... Um, that's how the this game has turned out. I'd really be interested to hear your comments, thoughts. I think I've got almost all the rules correct. I don't think I made any mistakes, except for maybe I'm, I'm not too clear if I've got that correct. Um, I've looked through the rules in regards to um, overruns and, and just, just close combat in general. I, I couldn't, at first glance, find anything about uh, other platoons being in close proximity, um, pitching into the fight, I just assumed that the uh, the infantry did you know were were within one inch of 
the um, the maxims, so they would have uh, they would have thrown in and helped out. Um, and the shock should have counted in uh, to some degree uh, on the Russians. So I I I, I included that, that shock modifier as well. Um, yeah, and so that's it. Uh, that's the game. Um, uh, also, just in regards to uh, uh, Jabos, um, I did ask the question on a couple of different forums uh, and Dave Brown came back and assured me that the way I played it is correct. So uh, when you get Jabos, you get three flights uh, or three aircraft coming in to hack at your uh, units. And it's... Um, you, you 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 designate the aim point, which is the target, and then uh, so for example, it could conceivably be this tank, this tank, and another tank. You you could have a whole you could have literally eight dice hitting that one, eight eight dice hitting that one. I randomized it as much as I I could um, because just <laughs> you know you know aircraft coming in at, at, in in the nineteen forties. Coordinate, especially in 1941, coordinating airstrikes um, isn't uh, isn't that easy, uh, and so I just wanted to randomise it as much as I can. Uh, I figured that the easiest thing for a, a pilot flying in into a battle space would be uh, identifying armour as opposed to individual infantry, and so that's why I put the the, uh, the strikes coming in on the, predominantly on the tanks, um, and it just so happened to be unlucky for these guys that they got hit as well, but. The amount of times this platoon here got hit with artillery and uh, airstrikes and all manner of uh, uh, incoming rounds, and at the end of the day, they they managed to keep keep all the shock off them. Anyway, that wraps up the game. Okay, so that's our group. Uh, that's my uh, first full playthrough uh, for the channel, and um, I guess I'd, it'd be, now would be a good time to just talk about some of the things that I really appreciate in regards to these rules. It's pretty obvious they've been written by someone who has some actual military experience. Uh, the fact that we talk about uh, having phase lines, consolidation areas, um, a regroup phase. The thing I really like about it is the combat patrol mechanism um, insofar as, I mean, in my, having, being a veteran myself, I, I can, I absolutely understand what these combat patrols are. Essentially, these would be small two to four man teams uh, from either uh, the battalion uh, recon platoon and each one of these recon platoons would hand out a section of, of recon to each of the companies and essentially as uh, you're moving to contact with the enemy, what you have is the small teams going forward trying to probe forward, find out where the enemy is and basically... Um, uh, once they get to a certain point where they they can they've got good eyes on the enemy, and they understand um, the, uh, the the tactical situation, um, then basically what would happen is guys would go back, pick up platoon commanders, uh, and uh, their platoons, and bring them forward, saying right, sir, right up to this point, you know, sound as a pound from here on in, you're going to be catching lead with buckets, um, and that's and that it's that's amply demonstrated in this rule system. Um, combat patrols being engaged and driven off. Um, I've played games where people go, oh, that combat, combat patrol has now been killed. No, they're not. Maybe one guy, Pr probably not. Basically, they've drawn some fire and they've just gone, oh, this is not, this is not a good uh, uh, route, uh, uh, approach avenue. And so uh, we're not gonna be deploying, uh, I'm not gonna be bringing a platoon up here to deploy and they hightail it back, back to the company commander. Uh, another combat patrol goes, goes out uh, and, and finds a route uh, for the platoon to come up to its line of departure before moving on to um, its objectives. Um, and I've never seen uh, any other war system use this, obviously, except with the exception of chain of command, where you have your jump off points, which is essentially the same kind of thing, but one level down. So, I, I really do like these. I, I love the fact that it's it's when you shoot, it's one, two, three, you miss, four, five, six, you hit. Um, there's no need to go through oh, what kind of terrain. You just simply roll a spotting dice. So it makes the game move along at a really good clip. I mean, this game has been played very fast. I think 
uh, in viewing time, um, it probably equates to about, it'd be less than three hours. Um, now, bear in mind, I'm filming all this and I'm doing all the uh, moving of the miniatures um, for both sides. Um, so, and so if I was playing this with an opponent, um, it would be, th this game would be over in less than three hours. Uh, a battalion level battle, and it's, it's a battalion plus. So it's a, a battle group battle um, in, in less than three hours, that's, that's pretty good. And it gives a satisfying game that from my perspective, um, gets, strikes that balance between realism and playability really, really well. So I really recommend O Group um, to those who are interested in battalion level uh, actions. Um, I've played this in 15 mil, obviously in 15 mil here, I've got 10 mil and six mil armies that I would love to give this a crack with, and also um, in 20 mil. So, um, yeah, uh, yeah, so it's a great set of rules. I, I highly recommend it. I think in 20 mil, I'd have to take the table up a little bit bigger. I, I think I'd go for an eight by five rather than a six by four. Um, uh, but I do have a bucket load of uh, AB miniatures in 20 mil. Um, uh, and I would definitely like to play this in 20 mil just to see what it looks like. But I'm also really keen to play it in 10 and 6 mil uh, because it would be uh, much. It would just I think it would give a a, a better feel of how how big a, a, that kind of battleground would be. And in 6 mil, you could actually have bases where instead of uh, one tank representing uh, you know a half troop, you could actually put two or three tanks down on a base. Um, uh, and just move those individual tanks around um, on the table. Um, well, it's still only four, three tanks as one, um, however. That said, like I said, great set of rules. Um, Dave Brown has, again, uh, really um, got a winner on his hands here with these. Now, obviously, these aren't new rules. They've been around for well over a year now. Um, but uh, good old uh, the Wuhan flu has uh, made uh, me getting some gaming in uh, somewhat difficult. But I'm glad I was able to play these. I hope you found the video interesting. Um, again, like, share and subscribe and let us know what you think. Um, I really do appreciate the com uh, comment comments. I would appreci appreciate subscriptions as well. Uh, not because I, I want any... Um, I'm never going to monetize my channel. It's just not going to happen. Um, simply for the fact that it would it would be too much like a job then. And I'm retired and I'm just not interested in working through a timeline and meeting deadlines. I did that for 33 years. Um, I ain't doing it anymore. Um, but um, if you do subscribe, at least then I know that if uh, I put something up, uh, those people, uh, if, you are, if you are subscribed, uh, you will get notifications, assuming YouTube isn't playing silly buggers, which, my jeez, what am I thinking? YouTube and silly buggers, it's synonymous, isn't it? Anyway, that's all for now, um, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye for now. Yubikoi.